Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 60-year-old male with shoulder pain, no history of trauma. They have some tendinopathy of the rotator cuff, some AC arthropathy, several findings, but one of the findings is related to the joint capsule. Down in the inferior joint capsule, it looked pretty thick, and it was bright on the T2-weighted sequence, so I was thinking about adhesive capsulitis, and if we roll here anteriorly, there was some kind of gray full signal in the anterior joint capsule, and uh, this is a coracoid process. So when you're worried about adhesive capsulitis, a couple of things to think about is right here, this little area, there should be a nice clean area of fat here. But in this patient, you see this is just socked in with um, dark signal on this T1-weighted sequence. So this is something that makes you think about adhesive capsulitis. On this view right here, you can see the same area, really bright in flames. So this is really, um, really prominent. Usually it doesn't stand out this much on the PD fat sat sequence, but anyway, when you see this fat obliterated, especially if there's inflammation like that, think of adhesive capsulitis, and then also look at the fluid. Do they have a big joint effusion? If they do, that would lean against it, but if they have very little joint fluid, that goes along with adhesive capsulitis. They get this thick inflamed joint capsule, very little or no fluid in the joint, and again, look for that little triangle here to see if that's obliterated, and think about adhesive capsulitis. Thank you very much.